Hello YouTube, how are you today? Hope you're all well. So just doing a video today on my Venturekin's 15 litre fridge freezer. Now I've only had this fridge for about a month now. I was humming and harring whether to buy this fridge freezer due to the reviews I've seen and comments made about this fridge. Hey okay, K viewers now, I've just got the fridge in the back of the Mitsubishi Express van. Now I'm just putting it next to the, the 15 litre kick ass. So it's about the same size. So this is just to compare size. Okay, there's no bag on this fridge. All right, I picked this up. 199 it was on Super Center. This was just before the end of the financial year sale. And these are generally around 279. And I thought, well, hey, why not? I'll give it a go. I've heard mixed reviews about this fridge. I've heard good things and I've heard bad things. I needed this for the wife's car. We went on a long trip on this and this thing performed pretty good. I've got it running through my Victron power supply. Now, with the fridge running, that's what we are drawing at the moment. 3.3 amps is the current used. I'm gonna do a, um, an average power consumption test in 24 hours. I've heard bad things about bad power consumption. That's not too bad, I've had fridges worse than that. So the power consumption is not that bad at 3.3 amps. Where this kick ass, I think it's about the same, 3.3. I will plug this in and we'll see. So this fridge has the same plug as the kick ass. So what I'll do, I'll take this out and we'll see the power consumption of the kick ass, okay? So as you see, 3.3 amps, okay? That's the Kings running. Now I'm gonna pull out the kick ass plug. Now as you see, the Kings are still running. Just to show you, it is that fridge. You see the fan going there, All right? I'm gonna take this out and put it into this fridge. So let's take this out. All right, there's nothing there. That is the plug, okay? Kick ass just kicked on, All right? Now we'll wait for it to start up and we'll see what the power consumption is of the kick ass. So I'm just using the Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger as a power supply mode and it can register how much power goes through it okay we're starting up the kick-ass fridge freezer just to give you a comparison i'm running current okay okay it hasn't kicked off yet it's still the fans just going the compressor hasn't kicked in yet it's just i've heard bad things about the kings using a lot of current Okay, now we'll just let that settle down. That's just kicked off. This is the kick ass. And we are using the same current, 3.3 amps. Okay, so that is the running current of the kick ass fridge freezer. There's inside the Kings. Little dairy section there. Okay, so the King's dairy section is actually in the lid where the kick ass one, it's just got cup holders. There's no dairy section. So they are pretty similar in size. A wine bottle does stand up inside each fridge as well. So they are approximately the same height. Okay, to close them up. A good feature with this, you can actually put your seat belt underneath to fasten it in your vehicle, which, which I love about it. It's great. I'm not too sure how you'll go mounting this like I did with the kick ass, but that's it underneath. As you've seen, the, the seat belt part where it goes in the vehicle in the back. The readout, so it's pretty simple. You just, that's your battery cutout. So I've got mine on high. I put my battery cutout on high. So with the fridge, you get your user manual and in your contents. 
get your safety warnings. I will talk about this as much as you will be reading it. Okay, I just mainly wanted to show you the, so here's the dimensions. I lost my tape measure, so I thought I'd just do the dimensions for you and the weight. 565 mil long by 235 mil wide by 375 mil high. So it's seven and a half kilos is the weight of the fridge empty. Okay, and it's 15 litres. But you can get this manual on the King's website. You can just go on the fridge and you can just download it. That's flickering in the screen, but it's not flickering. It's just coming through the phone. You just push up for your temperature to set it. That's cycled off and go down. And the seal seems to be pretty good. Which is still right around the lid of the fridge. And it seems to seal pretty well. When you close the lid, it's just got your little latch here. You just close it and lift it open. Okay, now I'm just trying to pick a quiet moment. So I'll shut up for a minute and I'll show you how loud the fridge is on the decibel meter. And the compressor cut out just to give you an idea how loud it is i've set the fridge up in here and i've hooked up the power supply to the fridge so i can measure what power goes through it and i can give you an average over 24 hours i've closed the curtains of the van so there's no direct sunlight getting on the fridge or the thermometer so the thermometer will be up here so there we have we've got 0.5 degrees in the fridge. That sensor is in the middle of the fridge amongst the cans, which is full. I think there's approximately 18 cans in there. I will count them when I finish the test. So it's inside, set to zero. I started the test. We're up to 29. So we got to a higher 30, minimum of 22 so far. It's 0.3 degrees in the fridge. Okay, so I'll leave this running overnight and I'll come back at the 24 hour mark and we'll see what amp hours we've used. Now we're currently at 0.7 degrees. That's currently 12.4. We had a maximum of 30 and we had the minimum of four. So it did get cool overnight. Okay, we're coming to the end of the test. So there it is there. 22.7 amp hours is what we've used. Now during the test, the fridge door was never opened. First time I'm opening now. That's on the can of beer there. You see the temperature gun there. Unload the fridge and I'll show you what was in it. And I'll show you where the thermometer was. There's the thermometer right there in the middle. So I've got 18 cans in there and one bottle of water. So I reckon take the bottle of water away and I would have got 20 cans in the fridge. So 18 in here and two in here in this dairy section. So now I've got to load it up for frozen, set to minus 18. I will let this get to operating temperature, then I'll start the test. I generally don't use this as a freezer viewers it's just i'm just doing this test just to show you what it uses on freezer if you happen to do that it's just i use this for a fridge only and that's what the temps were overnight the minimum was 12 so it was a warmer night the maximum got to 30 it's currently 28.7 in the vehicle we got 47.5 amp hours this is running on freezer on full power at minus 18 degrees Now I'll just show you, we're minus 17 in the thermometer gun. Of course, this was done mid-July, so we are in the middle of winter. It's gonna be a different power consumption in the summer. I will do this similar test 
say in six months time then also i'll do another review on this fridge to let you know how she's going but yeah an absolute bargain if you can get it for less than 200 bucks yeah so this is where the fridge sits in the car just in the middle and it's permanently plugged in to the battery in the rear there so we've got the battery tied in that's what the fridge is running on. The only thing I dislike about this fridge is the 12 volt plug. I replaced with the Emerson connector. You can do the same, or you can just buy a spare plug with an Anderson connector. Or if you have another Venture Kings fridge like I did, I just switch leads. So my 12 volt plug is on my 60 litre, which is in there. I've had almost four years now. Still going strong, just the latch has collapsed and that's the only thing wrong with this. There's any cosmetic problems. But to date, that fridge has performed very, very well. This fridge here, I'll do another review in six months' time to see how it's going. So I hope this video has helped somehow, and thanks for watching. Bye.